Hey guys, welcome back to Lisa's World. Oh my goodness, it has been one of those days. I have been, I started off making some sofritos and with my phone that I normally use and it decided it didn't want, it just wanted to just stop recording and then it told me it was full. So on that note, here I am. This is, I'm just going to say this is part two, but actually this is going to be really part one. Okay, so I'm walking around and as you can see, I am no longer in a turn around kitchen. Okay, no longer in a turn around kitchen. That's my kitchen, y'all. Dirty and all. That is my kitchen. I'm going to go up a little closer this way so you can really see the full kitchen. How about that? Oh, look at that, pad, that light coming in from the patio door. Okay, so right now, guys, I'm in my kitchen. This is quarantine week. This is Lisa's world. This is real life, okay? My son is upstairs in the loft, so if y'all hear a whole bunch of boom, 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 he's watching Private Ryan, yeah. Um, the little girl, she's in my office. She's still taking care of office stuff at her job. So I'm just gonna go ahead on and continue doing what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing here. And actually, I'm making some sofritos, and which is, um, it's a Puerto Rican, it's not really a dish, it is, um, it's just their vegetables that's all chopped up, and then they put them in a, in a jar, and you put them in your refrigerator, so when you're ready to chop up your, when you're ready to use vegetables, then um, you have something that's already pureed, and you can keep pushing, okay? So, uh, you guys, hold on, I'm going to push pause, and so I can set up, so I can continue, but yes, y'all, that's my, that's my kitchen, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Hey! Okay, guys, so you're not going to be able to see my face because, um, uh, again, I've already gotten started. And um, what I'm doing here, I am chopping up, doing a rough chop on my vegetables. This is cilantro. I'm doing a rough chop on my vegetables. I'm putting it in my food processor, and I am processing it. So, so far, what I have here which is actually um, which is actually draining. I have celery and bell pepper in here. And so I'm actually letting it drain all those juices off of there because I'm gonna eventually put this in a bowl and I'm gonna add some oil to it and then I'm gonna put it in a jar and put it in my, in my refrigerator, okay? So that's what we got so far right there, okay? So now, I'm, while I'm letting that drain, I have in here um, I have some fresh parsley, which um, I washed off my vegetables here. I really don't need this now. Oh, but it is, oh, that's a lot of, well, no, I better keep that on there. Okay, so um, in this bowl here, I have my, I have some um, parsley and some cilantro. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm pulling that off right now and I'm adding it to it. So right now, I have this in here, which is um, parsley cilantro and also green onion is in this in, in this right here okay so i'm gonna blend this up i'm gonna blend this up and maybe a little loud C close your ears okay actually you know what let me blend this up and then i'll show you what it looks like at the end how about that okay guys so i blended up my uh what was left what was in here which was my um my parsley my um and cilantro and some green onion is in here okay so now i'm going to put this in the bowl that i'm using that i'm using to drain all the juice off of it so i may turn my back to you so it's okay i may turn my back well i'll just do it like this here how about that and you'll be amazed of the, the, the liquids that come off of this. I still have my onion to do. I do my onion last because, you know, me and those onions, we fight all the time. We are always fighting. And people always ask, what is the solution to cutting an onion without the onion um, making you tear up? Well, I let people know what works for me. What works for me is I have a fan in my kitchen. And um, when I'm ready to 
cut cut my onion up, then I turn the fan on. But I'm not going to do that today. Not today. Okay. So, let's see here. I'm going to put this, the rest of this back into my bowl over here. Okay. Put all this off and put it back over here. I'm probably going to add it to it, you know. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this red bowl right here, this is my garbage bowl. That's my garbage bowl. Everything goes in that one. Okay. All right, so let's see. What am I going to do next? Oh, Lord Jesus. go! I'm going to go ahead on and tackle this onion, y'all. Let me, uh, let me go ahead on and tackle it. And again, just a rough chop. Don't want all that. Okay, and just drop it in there, just a rough chop. Yep, it's not so bad. I'm not tearing up yet. Okay, and what next I'm going to put in this, I'm going to put in some, um, some garlic, okay? This, this dish here takes lots of garlic. Lots. Of, it's really not a dish. It's just your your fresh vegetables. So I'm just gonna take pull out. Uh, I'll pull out more. I can always go to the store and get more. Lots of garlic. Okay. So let me rinse this off real quick. Okay, and I'm gonna drop these in there. Okay. Now, onion. Um, has uh, lots of juice in it so I'm not gonna add any oil to this here either okay so I'm gonna put that down I'm trying to think is there anything else I need to add to this I think we're doing I think we're okay okay so let me puree this and I will be back okay guys I pureed my onion and my garlic together okay I pureed that together. Ooh, and that smells so good with all that garlic in there. Yes, Lord. Okay. Now, my mixture that I have right here that I was letting um, the juice flow out of it, which is the cilantro and parsley, um, it's not a lot of juice on that. So, I'm just going to go ahead on and take that, dump that in the bowl over here. I have a bowl over here. And then, oh my goodness, you guys should see the juice that came off that celery. And so what I'm going to do now, I am going to add this to here, okay? Adding that in there. Yep, getting all that good stuff out of there, okay? And you guys are probably wondering, Lisa, what are you doing? You'll see. You will see. If you haven't watched one of my previous videos, I made this before, you will see. Okay, so I'm just going to let that sit to the side for a little bit. And I think I'm going to cut up a little bit more of, um, let's see. I think I'm going to do some more greens. So I'm going to put that over to the side over here. Okay. Put that to the side. And then I think, no, oh my goodness, my eyes are watering. So I'm going to add some more. I'll do some more parsley. I'll do a little bit more parsley and a little bit more cilantro. Yep. To this. Okay. So I've washed off my veggies. Okay. I always wash off your veggies real good. Um, people, some people ask, how do I wash my veggies off? I let, actually when it comes to like the, um, the vegetables like this here, the, uh, the cilantro, the parsley and the cilantro, uh, this is what I do. You don't have to do this. This is what I do. Um, I get a bowl and I put it in some cold water and I put vinegar on it and I let it sit. And then I swish, swish, swish. I, it's like I'm, I'm cleaning it with the vinegar. Okay? That's what I do. You don't have to do that. That's what I do. So I'm going to give this just a rough chop. Throw that in there. And then I still have some flat leaf parsley here. I'm going to put that in there. 
And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to add all this to um, all of it. I'm going to mix it all together and then I'm going to add some oil to it. Now, um, when it comes to the Puerto Ricans, I'm not really sure what kind of oil they use. It's been a while since I've seen their video. But um, I just take regular vegetable oil. Okay, I'm just going to give this a rough chop, guys. Just a rough chop. I really don't want the those stems in there. Although the stems are fine. The stems are fine. You can do you can do the stems. I just don't do the stems. Okay. Okay, just give that a rough chop. I, I realized I should have been videotaping this from my right side because I'm right-handed, so you guys could see um how I cut up the vegetables. Well, I think we're okay. I think we're good. We're good. Okay, get all that in there. And you know what? What the heck? Guys, I think I'm going to add another onion to it. Okay? I'm just going to add another onion to that. Yeah, because I only had a full onion. I'm walking away to get an onion. I'm still here. I'm still here. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. I'm here. I'm back. So let me do this onion here. Peel this onion. Get this a little bit close. Gonna peel the onion. I had to go to my office and get my desk lamp because I was recording this and the outside light was fine. But because we're having a partially cloudy day, um, the 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 clouds are messing up my natural light outside and so I had to go get my desk lamp with it for this so y'all bear with me okay this is a part of that quarantine week and all that good stuff and I figure well I need to make some sofritos so I'm gonna go ahead and just do it on camera how about that and show y'all what I do show y'all what I do Okay. Boom. That part. Okay. Everything is just... Oh, I don't want you. That's hard skin. I don't want you. Garbage bowl. I'm just doing a rough chop. And putting it in. Rough chop and drop. Rough chop and drop. Because the processors are going to do it for me. Okay. Uh, I know I'm doing a lot with my left hand and actually the funny part about it is You know you guys probably I'm chopping with my right hand and I'm picking up stuff with my left hand a lot Well, I kind of favor I cut and I write with my right hand and a lot of other things I do I do with my left hand um, And I'm not even-handed, but I had a stroke. Well, I had a stroke and because I lost a, um, a little bit of my left hand, I did. I had to have therapy on the left hand. And so now I favor the left hand a lot. So, that part. Yeah. Ooh, this onion getting to me now, y'all. I don't have my fan on. Jesus, be a fan. Okay. So, there it is. Yep, once I had that therapy done on my left on my left hand, I've kind of favored that left hand a lot now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, rough skin. Don't want you. Don't want you. Okay, so I've added another onion onto that. Okay, now. All right. Ooh. It got me, y'all. It got me. It got me. Okay, so put that on there like that. And I'm letting you guys know now, if you do this, you're going to make a mess, okay? You're going to make a mess. Look, my eyes are water because of the onion. I don't have my fan on. But you will make a mess, okay? This is real life. Look, look, tears coming down. Coming down. Okay, so. Whew. Fire in the hole. Do y'all want to watch this? I think y'all want to watch this. <laughs>
okay let me see what it looks like so far okay it can use a little bit more so i'm dropping that down in there and i'm gonna run it again okay i'm gonna run it again but i'm not gonna let y'all be on tape because i know some of y'all gonna be complaining it's too loud it's too loud okay so let me do this i'll be back i'll be back i'll be back okay guys so what i did i blended it up and then i added those onions um that i uh i chopped up a little bit earlier i added the onions back in there so now it's all of that is in there not all the other stuff but just this so now i am going to reach over and i'm going to put some oil and i don't measure i don't measure and what this oil does what i believe it does it saves your um your mixture from going bad if you put oil in so I had vegetable oil. I do have um, olive oil. I just did not use it. Okay. So I'm going to put this back on there. And let me mix this up. Okay. Okay. I'm back. So now. That's what we have right there. Everything all mixed in together. So what I'm going to do here is this. This is the mixture that I had earlier, okay? Well, put my light on it. This is the what I did earlier, okay? Which is, um, this is the celery. Uh, oh my goodness, the celery, the parsley, green onion, and cilantro, okay? So now what I'm doing, I'm adding more I'm going to add what I just got through mixing up here. Oh, I just found a big onion in there. Okay, so now, uh-oh, I'm seeing other big stuff in here too. Big old piece of celery. Look at that, y'all. Okay. Oh, my hubby just came in. Everybody, say hi to the people, babe. Say hi to the people. Hi to the people. Okay, he just said hi to the people. Okay. And I'm noticing I got a whole big old pieces of stuff up in here. So what I'm doing, I'm taking that out. And I think I may have to redo this one here. So you guys hold on. I'm gonna take this out, put this in a put this up in here. Yeah. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys. So what I did, I put the mixture that was in here i put it in here and i'm just letting that drain it really doesn't need to drain because there's oil in there and so what i'm going to do i put that other mixture that was in here that had the look like it didn't get fully mixed like you i wanted it to so what i'm going to do i'm just going to add some oil to that okay i don't i don't measure i don't measure add some oil to that and i'm going to re i'm going to mix that puree that again okay Hold your ears. Let's see. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, that's looking a lot better. Okay. That's looking a lot better. Oh, you guys, my, my counter is a mess. Okay, I'm going to do some more. Okay, let me puree that and I'll be back, okay? Okay, now I'm done with that. Do you see how pretty and green that is? My lighting is so terrible in here right now, guys, because I have lost all my natural light from outside. I have a lamp in, uh, yeah. So y'all pray for me. Pray for me, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my bowl. And I'm going to put everything, take this out, because this always get me. This thing here, I, I, no matter what, how many times I use this, it always seems to, it seems to cut me. It seems to get me, okay? So, I'm putting this in the bowl in here. I'll just do it left-handed so you guys can see. Putting it all in there. My lighting is so terrible. I'm sorry, guys. I tried. 
a lot of times when I do my recordings, I try to do them early in the morning. Okay, so you guys bear with me. It's when that when that sun is just over the house, you know. I'm not a professional at this none. You just getting you just getting getting into my world. This is Lisa's world. This is how I function. I'm not a professional. Don't ask me to be a professional because I'm not. Okay, so I just added all that in there. And then I'm going to take the rest of this here, the other mixture, okay, which is the onion and the, um, what I, what I put in this, guys? Onion and parsley. More parsley. Oh, my goodness. You guys should see the, the liquid that comes off of this. So now I'm adding all this together, okay? And now I am, let me let you guys get up a little closer, okay? If y'all get dizzy, hold on, y'all. Okay, now this is the end result of it. Hopefully you can see it really good. Now I'm mixing everything all together. These are all fresh vegetables. It's garlic. It's onion. It's green onion. It's celery. You can put as much as you want in yours as you want. I don't have a measurement. Of how much I put in mine I think for on this one here I put um I believe I put four stalks of celery in there I don't want that four stalks of celery and I used um, two bunches of green onion I used two big onions um, white onions yellow onions I put um, parsley I put cilantro in here Oh, there's another big piece, y'all. Look at that. You see that? Another big piece. Uh-uh. Give me all give me all that flavor off of there. You don't have to be in here. You don't want to be in here. You don't want to get mixed up. Oh well. So anyway, guys, this is what, what my version of of uh what am I trying to say, Jesus? Of um sofritos. And this is what the Puerto Ricans use when they want to season their vegetables or season no not season their vegetables when they just want to season everything and you don't have to cut up everything okay so now what I'm going to do here is uh, let me find a jar to put put some of this in and this is the I keep all my jars okay move that to the side I keep these are the type of jars that I keep, okay? And these are just jars that you get from the store that has your alf your Alfredo sauce in it and your spaghetti sauce in it, okay? And so what I do is, let me get a spoon, hold on. I make quite a bit, so, and I just spoon it in there. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm just spooning it in there. And when you're cooking, so you may you may be asking, well, Lisa, what do you what do you use this for? Um, just about everything. If I'm making a meatloaf, I'll give me a, a, a two or three tablespoons of this and put it in my mixture of my meat. I use it when I, for my beans. Um, what else? I put, I just put, I put this in just about everything. When I'm making, um, smothered potatoes over the stove, I put it in that, you know. Um, since my son has been back and, um, since his school had closed because of the quarantine, um, I made him some chicken alfredo, so, and that has oil in it. And what that oil is going to do, guys, is going to preserve it. Now, make sure this goes in the refrigerator. It has to go in the refrigerator, okay, because it's fresh vegetables. So, let's do this one here, and I'm going to have a lot more left over, but that's okay because um, I give it away. Whatever I don't, I'm going to keep these two here and the rest of this, the rest of this here mixture, I'm putting in jars and I'm giving it away, okay. So whatever you would put 
garlic and onion and whatever. This is it right here. You don't have to cut up your vegetables. And there's another young lady that I watch on YouTube and her name is not coming up to me right for, for me right now. She makes this same thing except she makes hers in a paste. And um, I'm like, when I saw her pull it out and she, and she called it her vegetable paste, her fresh vegetable paste, I'm like, that ain't nothing but, but sofritos. That's what that is. And that's what the Puerto Ricans call it. I'm going to name it something else. How about that? You guys comment down below to let me know what I should name this. Okay? Okay? So there's some more right there. And it's going to have juice on it. Because because of the juice that's in the that's um in the vegetables. Okay? So if you open it up and it has a little water on it, that's not water, that's just juice. Just kind of mix it on up. Okay? So guys, there it is. So fritos. Just um, cut up fresh vegetables. Okay. Now the rest of this, um, I'm going to get some more jars. And I'm going to jar it up. And I am going to give it away. Okay. Hopefully y'all won't get seasick because I'm moving the camera back. Okay. So God, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I know, I know. I know it's me hold on boom right there okay so this is me in quarantine because of you you guys know what because of what y'all see my oh y'all can't see it y'all you guys see my um right here. Woo, see my, that's my apron okay yeah my little cute girl so hopefully y'all not getting y'all not getting seasick. Okay, good. So guys, this is some of the things I'm doing right now. I'm gonna have to clean up my kitchen because it's a hot mess right now. But as you can see, I am no longer in a turnaround kitchen. Turn no longer in a turnaround kitchen. And um, I I know some of you guys are wondering, um, Lisa, what happened to your hair, girl? Cut it. I cut it all off. Boom. Cut it all off. Okay. And um. I just feel that I am so free right now with my hair cut off anyway. So I'm going to clean all this mess up. Hopefully you guys um, enjoyed my somewhat of a presentation. Uh, yeah, the, the, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. Locked in the house. Can't Supposedly can't go anywhere. I have been going to food for less. I'm going to be honest. I've been going to food for less. And um, so this is it. This is it. So now I have to clean up my mess and um, and then I'll be moving on to another project today. I'm not really sure what my project is going to be. I'm probably going to go up in my craft room and see what I can tear up up there. So on that note, I will see you guys. Remember, God loves you. So do I. Love on someone today. And remember, guys, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You all have a good one. I love you. Bye-bye.